The year was 1853. Mount Vernon, the home of America's first president, had fallen into disrepair. And much like the nation on the verge of civil war, the future of Washington's estate was in jeopardy. But in the mansion's worn facade, a trailblazing woman saw an opportunity to preserve Mount Vernon for all Americans as a symbol of civic virtue. Founding the Mount Vernon Ladies Association, Anne Pamela Cunningham and her colleagues embarked on a journey to restore the home of America's founding father. Little did they know the many layers of history this journey would uncover. As restoration began, the MVLA faced a considerable challenge. Most of Mount Vernon's original furnishings, expressions of the Washington's personal identities, were missing, either inherited, sold, or lost. And without them, visitors could not fully experience George and Martha Washington's world. So, the ladies of the MVLA embarked on a formidable mission, a hunt for lost treasures. For more than a century, they've worked tirelessly to assemble Mount Vernon's original artifacts with impressive results. George Washington's dress sword, his presidential chair, the harpsichord of his adopted granddaughter, objects that bring us closer to George Washington, the soldier, the statesman, the family man. As research and restoration continued, the MVLA recovered treasures from an even broader history. Nearly 600 enslaved people lived and labored at Mount Vernon during Washington's 45-year residence. Archaeology has revealed many objects that bring their stories to life, like that of brickmaker Gunner, whose fingers may still mark one of thousands of bricks that he shaped by hand. A shoe buckle, a jaw harp, a button, artifacts of great meaning to people whose lives were spent in bondage came to light. The MVLA even began to uncover layers of human history from long before. An ornamental stone with the initials of Washington's grandfather, owner of this shoreline property in the 17th century, or the spear tip of a hunter walking the very same shoreline nearly 10,000 years earlier. The picture of Mount Vernon's past has taken shape with detail far greater than Anne Pamela Cunningham could have imagined. Since the MVLA began, Mount Vernon has brought millions of people together to learn about our shared past, adding new chapters to the history of this place. Yet, as a trailblazer envisioned, one thing remains unchanged, the promise of this American icon to inspire, to intrigue, and to tell the stories of the people who helped shape it.